And we begin with the arrests made in the serial killings that happened in a three-hour period Sunday night into Monday. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Carolyn Johnson. And I'm Annabelle Sedano. In for Michael Brownlee today, a teenager is among the dead. NBC 4's Christian Casares is live in Bellwood, where one of the shootings took place. Christian. That's right. I can tell you that throughout the day, we got the chance to talk to so many families here in the area who told us they were just shaken up about these shootings. And they were asking us if we had any information regarding this investigation or any updates on the arrest. So we want to break it down for you here on your screen. You can see you can get a better look here as to where those shootings took place and also see how close they were to each other. We're talking about a five mile radius. Now we're standing outside the Marta Escutia Primary Center here in Bell, and you can see right Right here, families and neighbors have been coming out here all day really to show their respects here to the person that was gunned down here. We're talking about Kevin Parada. His family started a GoFundMe, and we've also learned that he was also a father. Parada was shot and killed as he was talking to a friend, and tonight that friend, who did not want to be identified, is opening up to us and talking to us about what happened. Be there at the last moments of somebody, you know, it's, it's, just horf it's horrific. Still shaken up by what he survived, this man who did not want to be identified takes us back to Sunday night when he and his friend were approached by a random car. And I seen a gun pulled out of the passenger side window and they aimed at him and I was like, oh, he's good, he's good, he's okay, he's okay. And then I just heard a pop and uh, I seen him fall and then they pointed it at me and I just seen pop. And then like, I just, I don't know, I don't know how I didn't get hit. Tonight, the L.A. County Sheriff's Department investigating this and three other fatal shootings around southeast Los Angeles and announcing two men have been arrested in connection to the murders. Uh, Gary Jonathan Garcia. And he is a uh, male Hispanic, 42 years old. And the second suspect is Wayne McNeely Timberland. And he is a uh, male Hispanic, 20 years old. They say the violent rampage began Sunday night with the shooting on Bear Avenue near Marta Escutia Primary Center. Officers found 24-year-old Kevin Parada unconscious, and it forced that school to close on Monday. The second shooting, according to officials, happened three miles away on East Florence Avenue near Compton just after midnight. One man was shot and killed. The third shooting happened 10 minutes later about four miles away in Cudahy. Detectives say a 14-year-old was shot and killed on Live Oak Street. A second person was also shot, but survived. Finally, around 2.30 Monday morning, reports of a fourth shooting. Huntington Park police found a man dead on the ground from a gunshot on Santa Fe Avenue, about three miles from the Ellen Ochoa Learning Center. How many gunshots did you hear? It was like three. One and then, then two, but it was like three. Multiple times in one night. How, did, how does that happen? How, how do people get away with that? And back out here live, I can tell you the L.A. County Sheriff's Department telling us this was a multiple city and agency effort. Now, they believe the shooting was random. One of those uh, people that was killed, we've learned, was a homeless person and another one was a teenager. Now, there is a vigil planned for that teenager later this evening at the location where he was shot, which is about five minutes from where we are. Now, I can also tell you law enforcement also stepping up patrol in the area, placing cameras in the neighborhoods as this investigation is ongoing. We are live in Bell Christian Casares, NBC4 News.